Um, all right, let's get to the late slate. There are three games in this late slate. Uh, the first one is Broncos at the Chargers. Uh, this line opened up Chargers minus four. It's down to three. It looks like there's sharp money coming in on Denver. Uh, so what do you like here? Yeah, this is a classic choice of do you trust Anthony Lynn's clock management or <laughs> Drew Locke's ball security in this game? And, you know, I don't trust either of them. But if I have to pick one of the two sides, I'm going to be on the Chargers here. I just think Justin Herbert has played so well this year. Uh, we saw him lead that drive in overtime against the Raiders where he just hit Jalen Guyton on that massive pass. And that's without Keenan Allen playing most of the game. Mike Williams on a rep count. He hits Jalen Guyton on this massive play, and then he sneaks it into the end zone himself after a couple tries um, to get the win against the Raiders. And I granted, I know it's the Raiders' defense, but the Broncos are dealing with a lot of injuries on their defense. They haven't performed uh, up to what we've expected this year. Again, that's partially due to – injuries and i still think Vic fangio is a good coach um but i think that the i think the chargers are going to move the ball on the broncos i think that they'll find ways to turn drew lock over on uh defense um i don't know how much joey bose is going to be able to play but we saw chris harris play pretty well against the raiders um and with the extra time off i think that they'll be well rested prepared for this one so i like the chargers at the minus three number a little bit i'm not going to bet huge on it i got it down for one or two units right now um, and I could easily see Denver covering this at three points, but I, I think in this case, I think the Chargers are the better side. Um, it wouldn't, again, wouldn't surprise me if uh, Anthony Lynn does something stupid and costs the team points and costs them a cover. But you know, uh, I'm gonna stick with stick with the Chargers because their offense is uh, better and more efficient. Yeah, it's it's a little scary to to bet the Chargers uh, when they're favored by the, this few points, right? Because like you, like they could always screw up. But the past couple of weeks, they've won in the clutch. Uh, they beat Atlanta uh, by a field goal at the end, and then they beat the Raiders in overtime. So, like, maybe things are turning around for them. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it's a little too late, but it, it could be happening. Um, so my, my one concern here is that uh, Justin Herbert is a, is a rookie quarterback playing a great defensive-minded coach in Vic Fangio. So that, that's the one issue I have. But I'm still going to be on the Chargers uh, because – uh, Denver's down their top two cornerbacks. Like they're definitely not the same defense that we saw earlier in the year. Um, and even when they had the top two cornerbacks, uh, Justin Herbert, um, despite playing against Fangio, he scored 30 points against them in week eight uh, in that first matchup. Now he threw two interceptions in the second half. So like that, that was Fangio kind of tricking him. Uh, but again, Denver's not going to have their top two cornerbacks and the Chargers, uh, they, they didn't have Austin Eckler in that game. So uh, they're going to be a lot stronger um, than they were in that game. And I, I, I feel like they're going to win uh, this game. I, I Like like you mentioned, like Drew Locke, you can't really trust him at all, um, especially if Joey Bosa plays. Uh, we'll, we'll see about Bosa, and that will kind of affect my unit count. But um, I'm definitely going to be on the Chargers. Yeah, one other thing in this game to keep in mind, uh, Chargers players love Anthony Lynn for all his shortcomings that I constantly mention on here. Um, he's well liked, so they're going to play hard for him because they might think, you know, hey, if we can put a little winning streak together at the end of the year, we might be able to keep him off the hot seat one more year. It's sort of what we saw with Dan Quinn, the Falcons last year. And, you know, who knows? They might end up in the same scenario as the Falcons next year. Or, or, but I think that the players will be ready to play hard for Lynn. So I think that plays into it too. And again, not Broncos aren't going to play hard for Fangio, but I don't think his seat's quite as hot as Lynn's. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, everyone loves, everyone loves Lynn. Um, but yeah, he probably needs to to move on, but I, I agree. I think they will play hard for him for sure. 